Hello. Welcome to my channel, Captain Recap. Today we will talk about a movie called, Everything Everywhere All at Once. It is a 2022 American absurdist comedy drama film. It was released on March 25, 2022. The film starts, with the Wong family happily singing karaoke in a mirror until they disappear. Cut ahead to the present day inside the hectic home of the Wong family. We saw, Evelyn and her husband Waymond are busy preparing for an audit, preparing a birthday party for Gong, and running a struggling laundromat. While, Evelyn is too busy to talk to Waymond and angrily rips googly eyes off wherever she finds them stuck to places in the laundromat. When our anger comes out due to our work pressure, which should be controlled, because work is not bigger than relationship, right? After that, their rebellious daughter Joy arrives with her girlfriend Becky. Then, Evelyn and Joy argue over Joy's tattoos and Becky's friendship, while Gong critiques Joy's lack of Chinese language skills. That moment, Evelyn tells Joy she's getting too fat and Becky says Evelyn's critiques are her way of expressing love. But, everyone is too busy to notice Wayman seemingly being possessed and performing martial arts for a brief few minutes. Later, Waymond, Evelyn, and Gong go to the IRS offices to meet with their auditor, and Waymond is possessed by an alt Waymond from another universe. There, he explains that the multiverse is in danger and leaves a note for Evelyn to read when out of the elevator. Sometimes we have a lot of preconceived ideas, we have to decide. After that, the family meets with their auditor, Deirdre, who warns them of fraud. Evelyn reads a note written by Alt Wayman, which tells her to switch her shoes, put in an earpiece, and imagine teleporting to a janitor's closet. There, she ends up in another universe, but the connection is tenuous as Deirdre threatens to repossess their laundromat. In the meantime, Alt Wayman and Evelyn are from the Alphaverse universe, where they were able to master multiverse teleportation. To teleport, the traveler must do something out of the ordinary to harmonize themselves with an alt-universe body. We saw, Jobu Tupaki is an evil multidimensional traveler who intends to bring chaos to the multiverse, and Evelyn is the only one with enough innate goodness to stop him. There is an alternate version of Deirdre appears and murders the bodies they are inhabiting, sending them back to their original bodies. So, Evelyn awakens to Deirdre agreeing to give them until that night to provide more documentation for their audit, and punches Deirdre. Meanwhile, this activity draws Jobu's notice, and it is revealed that Jobu is none other than Joy from the Alphaverse. But, Evelyn pushed Joy too far in exploring the multiverse, leading to her developing a weapon that Alt Wayman believes will destroy the universe. Moreover, Alt Deirdre inhabits Deirdre's body and attacks, Alt Waymond instructs Evelyn how to tap into a universe where she is a martial arts master. Somehow, Evelyn is unable to do this so Alt Waymond abandons her thinking he made a mistake that she was the chosen one. However, Evelyn is eventually able to travel and tap into her martial arts alternate skills. With her fighting prowess, Evelyn defeats Alt Deirdre, but is then arrested along with Waymond. We saw, Evelyn tries to fight Jobu but in her panic accesses skills from a world where everyone had hot dog fingers. After that, they are only saved when Jobu takes a special interest in this Evelyn, sharing some of her experiences with her and showing Evelyn a glimpse of her endgame. But suddenly, Alpha vs Gong ambushes Jobu. Jobu decides to journey to the Alpha Verse to confront them there. Later, Alt Waymond returns to Waymond's body and argues with Alt Gong Gong about what to do. There, Alt Waymond opposes killing Joy while Jobu is distracted, believing Evelyn can save everyone. While, Evelyn sides with Alt Waymond and calls in people from the Alphaverse to kill the trio, believing they have all been infected by Jobu and that if Evelyn joins Jobu, Jobu will succeed. In order to defeat them, Evelyn ends up drawing experiences from her doubles in various universes. Your experience gives you joy until you have no aim. Once you got the aim you will never regret. We saw, Evelyn is a martial artist, singer, hibachi grill cook, maid, and sign spinner, combining her abilities to become a formidable fighter. There, she defeats Alt Gong Gong's minions in an excellent fight involving butt plugs, Jenny Slate as one of the minions, and Jobu kills Alt Waymond in his body. After that, Jobu returns and Evelyn prepares to fight her, but the strain of combining too many alternate skills at once and spending too much time in bodies of other Evelyns causes Evelyn to die from the stress. Jobu seems disappointed, and Waymond is devastated. 
We saw, Evelyn's consciousness travels across the multiverse, experiencing the various lives she took skills and knowledge from including in the hot dog finger universe. Moreover, she is in a romantic relationship with Deirdre and everyone does things with their feet. We also learn in a universe where Evelyn decides not to get involved and just goes home to do her taxes that Wayman doesn't really want a divorce, but wanted to do something to force Evelyn to discuss their growing apart. Eventually, Evelyn is able to channel her spirit back into her dead body and resurrect herself. Many people had this wish, but it's good that we don't have this one, because in this world there is also lots of bad people exist. Later, she runs back to her home where she confronts Joy and forces Jobu to emerge. Evelyn tries to fight Jobu, but Jobu uses her immense powers to overwhelm Evelyn transporting her to worlds where they are in prison. Where they are pinatas, and even where they are animated. Jobu then brings Evelyn to her base. There, she reveals her device as an everything bagel, a bagel-shaped object upon which Joy has affixed everything in the universe. By looking into it, the viewer can experience all reality at once. Later, she forces Evelyn to look and Evelyn begins to believe that nothing in life matters as humans are so insignificant and the pair is only able to take solace in a universe where life never emerged and they are sentient boulders. After coming to agree with Jobu that there is no purpose to life, Evelyn begins destroying her relationships in the various universes she is connected to even calling animal control on Rakakui. In her home universe, she signs Wayman's divorce papers, refuses to turn in her taxes causing Deirdre to come with the police to possess the laundromat, and smashes the windows of the laundromat. Later, Jobu explains that by going through the center of the bagel, it will end her existence on all planes, ending the pain she feels due to the pointlessness of the multiverse. Then, she asks Evelyn to come with her and Evelyn agrees, but before she does so, Evelyn hears Wayman's voice and teleports to the universe where she and Wayman didn't marry. However, Wayman explains that he believes Evelyn didn't marry him because she misconstrued his generosity as weakness, but that being a loving person is how he finds meaning in the universe. Touched by his words, Evelyn begins to see the good moments in each of her multiverse lives. In the meantime, this is capped by returning to her universe, where she watches Wayman talk Deirdre into reversing her decision to seize their laundromat using kindness. Your thoughts are in your hands, it may not be what you think, don't hope for anything. Then, she realizes that he was right, strength and meaning comes from true love. Despite Jobu's efforts to have Evelyn go through the bagel with her, Evelyn refuses. After that, Jobu teleports the bagel and goons from her home base to Evelyn's primary universe, destroying everything. Where, Wayman gets Eleanor to forego violence and googly eye to herself as a symbol of her promise. Meanwhile, Alt Gong and the Alpha Verse forces show up to kill Jobu, but Evelyn reads the deepest regrets of the combatants and fixes them, causing each opposing soldier to stop their attack. Later, Evelyn also confronts her father's abandonment, saying that in trying not to be like him she drove away her own daughter. Her family then grabs onto Jobu to stop her from going through the bagel. Then, Evelyn apologizes to her daughter Joy, who rejects her attempts at atonement. Evelyn reminds her that life is too painful and humans are too small to matter, and that it is the small moments of time that matter the most. In life happiness and spleenful thing will come and go. Always remember your choice. After that, Evelyn and Joy embrace, and Jobu is pulled out of the bagel hole and the bagel is deactivated. Jobu is also pacified by Joy's resolution. Then, jumping ahead, the Wong family is dropped off at the IRS building by Becky who's now been fully accepted, including by Evelyn and Gong. As they walk inside, Evelyn shares a loving kiss with Wayman, showing that their marriage is now strong. After that, they arrive at Deirdre's office with their receipts properly ordered and to Deirdre's praise for doing much better. At the end, we see that Evelyn is still able to experience the entirety of the multiverse, all at once. From that we learn, everything everywhere all at once is a multiverse ride that explores mental health issues, from ADHD to depression. So, how was the movie? Do you like it? Then please subscribe the channel and like this video. And please hit the bell icon.